A ground beef wagyu patty stuffed with two types of cheese on a bed of caramelized onions topped with grilled pastrami. What would you call that? Yeah, this is gonna be good. No, seriously, it's gonna be really good. Honestly, it, it came to life in Max and my and Chance's mind as a chicken cordon bleu burger. And I don't know what happened, but at some point it took a hard left turn. And now isn't any of that, but it is gonna be freaking amazing. So here's the plan. We start some onions caramelizing, deeply, beautifully caramelized, like on the Mr. Miyagi. We make our burgers, we stuff them with cheese, and then we make a sauce while the burgers are cooking, and then, you know, the rest is all downhill, Bob's your uncle, we're eating, and then we're out. Caramelized onions first. Into our pan, we begin with some butter and some oil. The butter's for flavor, the oil will keep the butter from burning, right? Right. And then our yellow onions. And I put a lot in, I didn't cut that very well. I put a lot in because I want to make sure that we have enough. And you don't have to use your hands. We don't need this screaming hot. In fact, we don't want it screaming hot. We want to take our time. So when the burger's ready, these are deeply caramelized. The sweetness has come out and the flavor has really, really amped up. And once everybody's got a little oil and butter, we'll let it do its thing and we'll get our attention on our burgers. All right, we're gonna begin with a pound of ground beef. In this case, happens to be Wagyu. And then just a couple other things. A little squeeze of oil, decent sized pinch of salt and pepper, and a splash, a splash I say, of soy sauce. And that's just gonna bring the flavor profile way up. And using our hands, Max, we mix. Lovely. You know, and I always say don't over mix, just enough to throw it all together. And then when you've got it, you're gonna see how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna cut it into two. Try and get two exact piles, if I can. We want these both to be about a half a pound each. One, two. All right, we're gonna take these guys. We wanna stuff these with two pieces of cheese. One will be American and one will be Munster. I love the way they both melt and that's an important part. They can't go in like this because they're gonna be too big. So we're just gonna fold them basically like this in half, then again in quarters. And now here's the important part. You could have made two patties out of this, put the cheese in and then the other patty on top and sealed the edges. But I'm gonna do it this way because when I do it the other way, I do find that the seams leak. So I'm gonna try to only make seams really on one side. So watch how I do this, because this is an experiment. Or is it experiment? And now, in my mind, there's the seam, little hole here, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. You really just don't want it to bust through when it's cooking. There's no guarantees. We're just doing the best we can here, right, Max and Chance? Right. right. And when this is ready, we'll put it on wax paper on here and do the same with the second one. All right, that's ready. The onions are coming along, let's make a sauce. This episode is sponsored by harrys.com. Look into my eyes when I ask you this question. How important is your face? Max, chance. So important, the money maker. It's the money maker. And would you want to F up your face with, oh, substandard, overly expensive razor blades? I think the answer to that is no. And that's why I'm a fan of Harry's. It's a new year and it's time to take better care of yourself. Harry's is a personal care brand that's reinvented the way I shave and will reinvent the way you shave, helping you to shave in a premium, hassle-free way. So start the year off right for you, and you'll be starting it off right for other people because Harry's gives 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care to men in need. So what is it that I like about Harry's? Well, let me tell you. To start with, I love the weighted handle, this textured grip, it just feels so good. I love the way it flexes to help get in difficult spots. I love the cover case that comes with this, lets you protect Harry's, whether it's just in your bathroom or you throw it into your dop kit on a trip. I'm in love with their foam shaving gel, I use it all the time, it's got natural ingredients in it, and by the way, 
The refills get delivered straight to your door every few weeks. Who doesn't like that? And Harry's just released their sharpest blades ever. They're still the same low price at only two bucks each. And you can get this trial set for only $3 for a high quality shaving kit like this. It's an absolute steal. So just go to harrys.com slash Sam. That's harrys.com slash Sam. Look, I don't always shave, but when I do, I only use Harry's. Oh, by the way, so does my wife. She loves these. Thank you, harrys.com, for sponsoring our video. So we're sort of making like a thousand island dressing-ish kind of sauce to go with the pastrami. So we'll get some mayo in our bowl. And that will be followed by, it uh, would be ketchup, but you know I'm a fan of chili sauce, like this. It's kind of the same thing, but with more flavor and it's super delicious. Next up, a little pickle relish, and I like dill pickle relish for added tanginess. This might not be traditional, but I like some horseradish, prepared horseradish that is, not the cream kind. I like a little jus de lemon, as we say in, I don't know if anybody says that. Lemon juice, a hint of smoked paprika, and a little yellow onion, and we mix. And then we taste. Mm. The dill pickle relish, the horseradish, mm. pinch of salt and pepper. I forgot, always. And, and if you're new, yeah, that's it. And if you're new, the salt is not intended to make it salty. It's intended to heighten all the other flavors that are in here. For example, ketchup, mayo by themselves are fine, but with a little hit of salt, mm, you know what I mean by this? Mm, the flavor just comes up a bit. So let's see. Onions aren't ready. We're gonna let them get there. Sauce is ready, patties are made. So I say, Give me 10 minutes to get my onions where I want them, and then we're throwing it together. All right, before they go on, one thing, a little uh, moutard. Now that's French for mustard. I'm not sure that uh, jus de lemon is actually <laughs> lemon juice, but I do know moutard is mustard in French. And this is not gonna taste like a mustard burger when we're done. It's just gonna be freaking delicious. So let's take this guy off, and we'll go to the grill. The grill has been sprayed and on we go. Perfect time. Give the top and sides a little bit more of the moutard. And now folks, we're just cooking a burger. And fingers crossed that we don't have a blowout. That's it, simple as that. Medium high heat. While we're here, we can scope the onions. They're getting close. Put them back. I'm just gonna close the lid on the burger let it cook away for a little bit, and then we'll visit it in a few minutes. So uh, it's been a few minutes, two and a half, three minutes. Let's give it a little three quarter, let's give it a little quarter turn. Well, hold on. This goes from here to here, is that right? 90 degree, 45, I don't know, like this. That's all I meant. What was that? Uh, 90 degrees. Because if it was 180, it would have turned completely around. No, that would be 360. No, not all the way around. I mean, oh. from facing front to back would be 180. That would be 180, you're right. Oh, and just let me throw a reminder in. I cleaned my grill today. And when I say clean my grill, I don't mean just the grates. The grates come off. The things underneath it come off. The deal underneath that comes off. Everything gets scraped and, and, and cleaned out. So do that. You want to operate from a position of cleanliness, not just for food health safety sake, because you know everything burns off, but just your burners will work better, everything's just better. All right, let's give it a little pickup, and down we go. Okay, clearly it's not enough, but I'm trying to take my time with this so that we get it melted evenly all the way through. You're scared of the cheese poking out, aren't you? I am you? scared of the cheese. Yep, because we sometimes have issues with stuffed burgers, people. The cheese has got me running. I don't know if I've ever seen you flip a burger with that little color on the other side. Come on, I'm freaking out over here. I don't want it to be bad. I want it to be perfect. Uh-oh. So far, the integrity of the burger is being maintained. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, let's give her another turn. See how we're getting there. Look, 
I want to do this carefully. I don't need shit from anybody about how this is cooking, especially you, Max. We have our burger in the final minutes of finishing. We have our bun to grill. We have our bun to uh, get crispy. We have some pastrami to uh, put on the flat top. And then we're there. Come on. Bun goes on. And because we want the pastrami at its juiciest point, we're gonna wait until just before we build. So here's the thing. This is pastrami from uh, our restaurant, Not Not Tacos. We believe it's the world's best pastrami. Like this, out of a container cold, it's magnificent. But when it hits the flat top and the fat starts to melt and work its way into the slices and the edges get a little crispy and the whole thing warms up, it's absolute magic. It's magic. It's magical. It's magicness. How do you say that in French? Magique. It's très magique. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing out. Come French on. day. It's French day. Okay, let's see. Bun, nice. And the pastrami goes boom, like that. So spread it out a bit. Watch, it does not take very long. Look, it's been what, like 20 seconds? And then... That's, see what's happening here? That's insane. Insane for sure. All right, let's build this biatch. Okay, we're gonna begin with our uh, Thousand Island or, or what I'm loosely calling Thousand Island on the bottom. I mean, gosh, fantastique. And now the onion. Caramelized onion, come onion. on guys. The onion de caramelize, or whatever you would call it. And now, stand by for the burger, and that looks like this. How's that look? Beautiful. Ready for the crowning achievement? The crowning, what, are we, what do you call this? The crowning? Ready. The crowning whatever it's called. The pastrami, oh God. Damn. Damn, what a, mess, what a mess I'm making. Oh, I'm telling you right now. This is very likely to be on the Sandburgers menu. Okay, it's just not, it's not staying. Maybe you need it to go on the bottom. That's okay. And then, how's that look? Is everybody, oh, I could eat that piece. The layers are gorgeous. The sauce looks perfect. Everything's in place. It's messy AF. And now let's give it some of this, shall we? A squoosh. And, oh, damn it. Oh, good Lord. I think we've done something wrong in the most right way here, boys. That's the good shit right there. That's the good shit. Look at how that melted. That's everything I wanted it to be. Remember the Juicy Lucy we did? Well, forget that one. This is the one you want to make. All right, so let's try and pick up this nonsense. How do you do this? I mean, how is this? Here, I got it. That's the ticket. There you go. I mean, here's all I have to say. Wait, I didn't catch that face. Can you do it one more time? Yeah, it looks like this. <laughs> no. You're going to kill yourself. <laughs> oh my God. I am not kidding. It's a huge freaking mess, but it's just honestly one of, it's one of the most delicious messes I've ever made and eaten. <sighs> the pastrami, but also the little things, the caramelized onions, because they went so long and took on that great color and that sauce underneath with the tang from the horseradish and the, the lemon, this part, this part right here. Hot damn, this is good. All right, but remember what we said, we want you to send us pictures of you making our food. Wait, I don't need to see you making the food. We just want to see the made food. And here's who we've got. We've got Matt Rude made our uh, our sweet, sticky, spicy ribs. And did a damn fine job. Hey, look at the picture. He did an amazing job. Congratulations, Matt. 
We're going to send you something from Max's house. <laughs> no, just reach out to us. Info at thecookingguy.com. And, or oh, no, you D- can, DM us on Twitter. Yeah, just, just DM us on Twitter and we'll hook you up with something. A book, I think, yeah? Why does it have to be my stuff again? You write a book and give a it away. 35-minute personal phone call on <laughs> FaceTime with Sam the Cooking Guy. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, everybody. Please make this. Oh, my God. It's mental. Can you say mental in 2021? Questionable.